let's talk about Marathon Oil, uh, ticker symbol MRO. It's a trade that I'm currently in. Uh, let's read a little bit about it. So it says shares of Marathon Oil shot up 8.7% toward a one-year high in afternoon trading yesterday. That's Tuesday, the 23rd of February. And it reported a narrower than expected fourth quarter loss and provided upbeat outlook for capital expenditures and free cash flow. Uh, trust analyst Neil Dingman reiterated the buying rate he's had on the stock since mid-January while boasting his price target by 25% to $15 from $12. Uh, you can go on to read this if you'd like to on Market Watch. I'm going to move on into talking about what I read on Yahoo Finance. So pretty much the same thing. Let's go back up. Uh, it reported a full year 2020 net loss of 1,451 million. Um, so its net share was actually down, but I think that all of these highlights, like, um, where are we? That the 2021 GHG emissions intensity target representing an approximate 30% reduction versus 2019. Um, announced medium term goal to reduce GHG emissions intensity by at least 50% by 2025. Uh, I think a lot of the positive news about what's to come with this company is what's pushing these uh, shares to go up. Um, so that's pretty much what my take on it is. Uh, same thing here with Yahoo Finance, Core 4 Earnings Insights. It says that earnings per share we're down 271.43% over the past year. Uh, so even though their earnings report came out uh, showing that they were down, this has been their daily chart since. Uh, so I believe their earnings came out on Monday. So that's right here where they were trading right around this, uh, this small green bar right here around that nine under $10 mark. And since then they've traded up only green. Um, I got into this trade, so let's look at the daily chart here. I got into this trade pre-market on that Monday, so Monday the 21st, and, or, mm, sorry, Monday the 22nd. And I bought 10 shares and I've been up uh, eventually, I got to 50 shares total. I so right down here in the lower bottom half of my page. I now am holding 50 shares, um, average of 10.131. And since I've opened up this trade, I've gotten a profit of 100, about $100. And today alone, I've gone up $49. Um, let's look at the two charts that I generally look at. So the two minute and the five minute. Right now, this is the, this long one is the 200 uh, moving average on the two minute and it is hovering above it. It looks like it's really maybe gonna consolidate right around this $12 mark. Um, if you are getting into it, so I'm not a professional, but this is what I recommend for myself anyway, um, if I were to buy any more shares. Right now, it looks like it came down. It hit the 20 moving average, and then it seems to be following the 20 moving average. So might, right now, actually, uh, right now at noon, it might be a good time to be getting into it to get some more shares um, because I do have a small account. I, I'm sitting at 114 um, settled cash, so uh, I'll have to see if I want to get a few more shares. It looks like uh, the demand for it is pretty high, so I always try to look at this level two to see when would be a good time to get in. Um, so yeah, that's my take on MRO, Marathon Oil, and I'm going to be holding this for probably for longer than I usually hold something. Um, let me know how you guys do. Quick edit. Um, I said that I was going to probably get a few more shares. Uh, or think about getting a few more shares around this uh, 12 or so dollar mark on the two minute chart. But actually, I might wait to see if this curves down to meet up with this 200 moving average on the two minute chart and then see if it dips below or if it 
bounces off of it and goes up. So usually uh, this 200 moving average is starting to come up. If I follow that line, it might read around, it might actually meet right around that $12 mark. So we'll see what happens because these, um, the 5, 13, and 20 moving averages, looks like it's going down and then might meet the 200 moving average right, I would say right around here. Uh, so let's see what happens. Uh, happy trading.